Hi, everyone. Um, today I'm going to do a little demonstration of um, the Nord modular editors. Uh, somebody had uh, expressed interest after I uh, looked at uh, using machine on the Microsoft Surface Pro. So I'm going to now kind of go through and show you how well the Nord um, modular editors work. Um, there's apparently there's the regular modular editor and then one for the G2. And uh, that one at least uh, has some sounds in it so that we can look at so you, or hear so you can kind of see a little more in depth what's going on. So here's the um, Nord Modular Editor. Um, I have to start a new patch. And so basically what you have are all the little modules that you can scan through. Uh, right now I'm using um, the pen. But uh, you can use your finger. It's just, I think, a little. Uh, everything's a little small, so maybe you can scale it up. I haven't, I haven't really tried to. If you can, um, these kind of look like they were made in earlier versions of Windows. But um, you know, you can go into the oscillator and drag uh, oscillator A1 and B1 out. Um, input uh, keyboard one. Um, and you've got your outputs, I believe. Output one, you can set that out. Uh, sequencers, um, you know, whatever whatever thing you're using. I I don't have a Nord modular, so all I can do is really go through the editor for people and see how it how it works on these on the Windows Surface tablet. Um, you know, you have your LFOs. Now, uh, you've got your little patches that you can make and. Um, so I can try that with my finger and, you know, let's just pitch of one going into the pitch of the other, which obviously, well, you could do that um, for like some frequency modulation. Uh, let's see. See, I, I try to do it sometimes um, and it just, it ends up kind of like uh, making a box so it's not actually catching, but you can do it. What I would suggest is since the Surface Pro comes with... Um, one of these uh, pens, uh, you know, it's uh, it works really well. And once the pen is in contact with it, uh, I can try and zoom in. No, we're well. Yeah, let's see. Um, I'll just manually do it. Um, once the pen gets in contact or close enough, you'll see a little dot show up. And once that dot is there, this, uh, the surface has pen re or, uh, palm rejection technology um, such that, wow, this is not as easy as, <laughs> this is the harder part of the tutorial, getting the screen in focus. Okay. Um, once the once your pen uh, is in contact with the or it's close to the surface, um, your palm nothing reads, so nothing happens. So actually, I find this to be a little bit easier to actually make the little connections um, between them. Uh, it's very precise uh, as opposed to your finger. But since you'll have it anyway, um, I think it uh, I think it works out a little easier. You know, you can hold it down as a right click. Um, if you if you actually press this button on here, um, and then press down, you'll have your little uh, modulators for that. So you've you can add your fil you can add a filter. Apparently, if I can do that right, um, okay, you have to click it, and so you've got filter A, and now you could. Uh, well, like I said, I <laughs> I don't actually have one of these, so it's hard for me to. Um, use it, uh, which maybe I should get one of these. So anyway, this, um, this seems to work out pretty well. You know, if, uh, if somebody's interested in, uh, um, getting the surface for, uh, this type of, this type of, uh, production or use of the surface, uh, with your Nord modular, I would say it works pretty well. Um, you've got your knobs that, um, I turn, you know, basically, uh, I'm not sure if, um, that shows up here. I'll zoom in again, and uh, 
and let's move one of these closer to the um you can you can see that if you just kind of let's see i set it up uh, options uh, i set the knob control to circular when it was horizontal i i couldn't get it to work very well but maybe you'd have better luck with it so you know you can you can use the pen for that uh, you can pretty easily use your finger as well to modify that so i think i think that actually works pretty well um so you know as as far as patching um and knob twiddling i would say that um it 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 works rather well on uh when you're using the surface pro um and uh so now i'll just kind of go through um so that's the Nord Modular, uh, the probably the earlier model. Um, and now I have some of Richard Devine's uh, patches for the Nord Modular G2. Um, this is just a downloaded demo, so I don't actually have the full version of it. Uh, it sound, seems to me like um, it, it still functions. Um, so if you have the Nord Modular G2, uh, you could... You could also uh, use it the same way. Uh, I would say that it works out just as well as um, the the other Nord Modular editor that I was working with. Um, so you know, if we I turn it to drone and then um, just press a note, and then you can modify. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Um, let me just open that again because I'm not sure what I did. Uh, so let's put it on drone. And you can see that it's pretty easy to m modify, even with your finger. But um, it seems like the controls might be a little bit smaller um, in the G2 editor. So, you know, if that's something you're interested in, still, I think it's pretty easy to do, especially with uh, the pen. Um, I think it's easier to do with the pen on this one. The, the knobs are a little smaller. So if you see, it's actually kind of hard for me to catch it with that. But again, uh, maybe there is a way to uh, make it bigger. I guess, you know, looking at making the screen bigger, I'll try that right at the end. Um, as far as um, how much CPU uh, is being used up, so let's just turn it on and go over to the task manager. You can see I'm only using up 7% um, CPU for actually 4.8 with uh, Nord Modular Editor 1, or the G2 editor. Um, so it's actually really, uh, it, it's not using up a lot of uh, the hard, or the CPU. So, you know, we can go into other sounds and then, well, I guess that one didn't even have anything. Here we go. What's with these terrible patches? No, I'm kidding. They're probably really good. I just can't get them to work. There we go. All right. Now, uh, let's see. That's for the filter. Yeah, I'm not so good at uh, using these modular synths, but maybe someday. So anyway, um, everything seems to you know work pretty well. I'd say it's easy. Definitely with the uh, G2, it's much easier to modify using the pen.
but like I said, um, actually, why don't why don't I try that right now? Um, I'll see if I can change the screen size. Let's see if I can. Oh, whoops. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this on. I still haven't figured out Windows 8 completely, but um, oh, let's see. It's right clicking here. Screen resolution, and let's. Um, 1280 by 768. Let's keep changes. Um, okay, thank you. Um, where did the... Okay, well, I'm going to close that because I couldn't figure out where the... Okay, there's the virtual keyboard if I need that. Uh, I am using the ASIO um, uh, driver for the sound, so... Okay, let's see if that uh, makes it any better. So you can change the screen resolution, and it looks like uh, it, it feels a little bit bigger. For... And um, definitely would need some tweaking, I would say, because... Uh... Let me stop that. I would say it needs a little bit of... Um, you know, the knobs just don't, they, they seem like they're too small for you to just kind of press your finger on and then modify it with your finger. I, I don't get very good uh, resolution with that. So, you know, it's possible to, to do, uh, but yeah, it's really not, I don't even think with my pinky I can modify some of these. Oh, no, there I go. So you can modify it, but I would say even with changing the screen resolution, it's not the simplest um, simplest thing to do. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my camera decided to uh, limit my, my time. So anyway, uh, what I was saying was that, um, that even with changing the screen resolution, I think it's uh, rather difficult to um, use your finger when you're... Um, let's, let me get back to... The, um, I still think with, with the with the larger screen resolution, it's a little difficult to use your finger to uh, twist the knobs. Um, you know, it is possible. You can see uh, that I'm able to do so. Um, and but but sometimes I just end up moving the whole screen around, which is just a little frustrating. So so you might want to use the pen. But that said. Um, the pen works really well with with these. So, I mean, I guess if you're doing a live show, you don't want to really be um, using your pen on stage be because that uh, that just wouldn't look quite right. Um, but maybe, maybe someone wants to do that. Anyway, um, so both editors work really well. I would say um, definitely using the pen would be a lot simpler, and especially if you're just, um, you know... Uh, kind of working on making a really nice uh, patch um, in your house uh, or in your studio, it would be very easy to use the editor uh, with with the pen. And, you know, this is not something you, I, at least I don't think uh, you can do on, on an iPad, but uh, I think other Windows tablets would have this capacity. Um, I think the Surface Pro is uh, pretty well built, and so that's uh, one of the nice things about it. I think the pen works really well. I I'm sure there are other really good um, tablets, um, you know, other other really good Windows 8 tablets out there. Uh, you wouldn't be able to use this with RT, uh, the RT or Windows RT, because you obviously you can't load uh, legacy apps. But um, you know what you would probably want to do is make sure that you're not um, using a um, you wouldn't want a Windows 8 tablet that doesn't have um, one of the pens. The I think they're the capacitive pens. Somebody could uh, correct me if I'm wrong in how that works. And make sure that it has the um, palm rejection technology so that when you're actually, you know, put your hand on the uh, screen or when you put the pen on towards the screen, uh, you're not messing it up when you actually set your palm down. Um, and you can be kind of far away. I'd say at least an inch away but when it picks up the, that the pen is near the screen. Um, and so with that, yeah, the, the, the modular editors, they, they, they both work. And I would say, uh, you know, it's really a good feature, um, 
you know, would I recommend just buying a Surface Pro for these editors? I, I, I don't know. I guess it depends on if you really want um, an, an editor uh, with a touch screen. Uh, I would say that this, th this would do the job. I don't know what else is out there that would allow you to do this on, you know, such a, a small scale with, uh, these windows eight tablets. Um, you know, if you can do it with, uh, other MIDI editors on, on the iPad, maybe that's a possibility, but I've also heard that that's, uh, would be a tedious feat with these, uh, Nord modulars, um, editors. So, um, with that, uh, I think, I think that ends the demonstration of it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, write to me, e email me, uh, post on, on this page, and I'll see if I can help you. If you have questions about other editors that you want to see done on this, um, yeah, just shoot me an email, and I'll see if I can download it and test it out for you. Uh, have a good day. See ya.